Good evening, Nancy. I hope you had a great weekend. So the last time we talked about different things. We didn't really use all clear. And since, you know, I, I have a lot of um, a lot of files, a lot of stuff uh, I'd like to share with you. And I may not have to send you everything, but I was thinking to talk about the e-readers or the tablets where you read different books. And it's becoming more and more common, but I'm still an old school person. I like the, the, the textbooks, um, except when they're too expensive. But anyway, the pre-reading match the book words with the image. The pictures so a book well a book is C uh, so a book can be like that B as well but a paperback is when uh, uh, can be like that H and uh, the hardback is this one a reader can be something like that or it can be an e-reader okay so be careful because this is British here but I'm here to help you. So the content page, uh, can be the content here, uh, a page, A, okay? And uh, a reader is this person, an e-reader is this, and the front cover is something like that, okay? Anyway, that is a book. Have you got, so this is pretty British, we can see in American English, do you have an e-reader? Are you thinking of getting one? We asked some e-reader owners to give us their opinions. There are many things that people like about e-readers. E-readers are really light, um, and it's true because look, you see the difference between this book. I have this book actually, and I don't have the, the, the hardback just have like a normal kind of a uh, paperback uh, book, okay? Way less than most paperbacks, say Nath uh, Nathan Jones, a market researcher. You can hold the book and turn the page with one hand. An e-reader is definitely more comfortable to read in bed or if you're lying on the sofa. Plus, mine's got, Mine has a light so I can read in bed at night without disturbing my partner. You've got to be careful because you can destroy your eyesight. It's what I did with my computers. Uh, another big advantage is that you can store hundreds of books on them. E-readers are perfect for travel, said Kira Smith. You can have lots of books in one device instead of carrying lots, loads loads of books or lots of books in your luggage suitcase. The search functions are also popular. You can look for a character by their name or for a place just by typing in the word. That's really useful, said Megan Malone, a sales executive. Okay. One user liked the function for increasing font size. I've got poor eyesight. But the e-reader is perfect for me as I can increase the font size. Okay. So that's, that's good. I like e-readers because they are ecological. If we buy an e-book, we are helping to save trees as they don't use paper. Also, my e-reader is solar powered, so it only uses renewable energy. Best of all is the availability of hundreds of free books online. Project Gutenberg has millions of titles they're all free to download, said another user. User, One of the biggest complaints is that you can't find certain titles. Many books are simply not available on electronic form. If you want a specific book, one that is older perhaps or not a bestseller, it won't be available. At least that was my experience. Others complained about the small delay in turning pages, the gap between pressing the next page button and the screen Showing the page is really annoying, said Joel Bray. Well, also you, can, you can't flick between pages so easily. Yeah, that's why, I, that's why I don't really like this stuff too much. But anyway, the project Gutenberg is uh, it's like PG, is an archive of ebooks. It was founded in 1971 by Michael Hart. 
It is the oldest digital library. Titles in their top 100 most popular ebooks include Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, uh, Adventure of Sherlock Holmes, Ulysses, Ulysses, we say in French Ulysses, um, Frankenstein, they're all, free, they're all free. As Michael Hart said in 2004, the mission of Project Gutenberg is simple to encourage the creation and distribution of ebooks. Anyways, so, yeah. So anyway, we can, uh, we can also talk about different things, but keep in mind, it's purely British. So maybe a bit uh, annoying, okay. But anyway, shrug your shoulders, stick your tongue out, bang your elbow, twist your ankle, purse your lips, it's like to do, a, it's like the um, duck face, crack your fingers, bend your knees, touch your toes. And we can also be a tiny bit more practical tomorrow and we can talk about fish and food in general, okay? Well, if you take a look at the transcript here, we talked about different things, but Hopefully, in lesson number three, we're going to also do something like that. We need to continue, okay, just to get more expressions for you. You have a good evening. I'll see you tomorrow at nine. And uh, let me know if you need anything or if you have any questions. Take care and see. Talk to you soon.